Hey everyone, Jake from Dark Wolf Knives. Uh, today we're going to be working on something a little different. Uh, I don't know if I've shown this or not yet, but this here is the knife we made yesterday, or I made yesterday, and you watched. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to try something a little unusual today. Uh, I've got the forge heating right now, and this here is a can of well, just basically cheap furnace cement, black, non-asbestos. Non uh, it's used in whatever forges and stuff, and fireplaces and stuff. This one's temperatured up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to be coating a blade with this. What we're going to try and accomplish is a uh, the hamon, like you'd see on a Japanese knife. We're going to try it with one of these. It's going to be a little tricky. I hope I don't crack the damn blade. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, today it's about 40 degrees out right now. And it's been raining all day and it sucks. Yesterday was 75 degrees. So a little bit of difference. Uh, anyways, I try and uh, oops, try and get you in here for this. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna basically paint the uh, the furnace cement on to the blade here using either a popsicle stick or something. Now I've added water to this at one point to make it a little extra runny because this stuff is extremely thick. Uh, it's, I can't even describe what it's as thick as. Um, anyways, it's very icky stuff. caution when playing with this crap. I think I'm going to have to uh, find another popsicle stick that's this stuff hardens and basically turns into cement. So. Basically you want it about the consistency of a little thicker than, uh, than sour cream. streak of it back here on the, uh, the back edge of the blade. It doesn't have to be too thick, you know, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, something. Eighth of an inch should be fine. And we're going to well, try not to drip the stuff everywhere. Up kind of pattern. Um, I don't know if you can see that all right. Let me see if I can zoom in a little more. There you go. You basically want the pattern to be equal on both sides. So if you got like a big lump on one side, put a big lump on the other side to match it. And what I like to do is put a few little streaks in it, you know, kind of thing to give it a little uh, random random style detail or something, you know, something that makes it unique. It's 
Sorry if I'm not doing this on camera. It's a little... I'm in kind of in the wrong position here. I have my camera sitting on top of my propane tank. watched a video on this yesterday, how to do this. I'm on perfectly on, well, 1095. This is 15 and 20, which is basically the exact same thing as 1095, but with some nickel added to it. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the forge and we're going to heat this up to about 1475, 1500 degrees. And then what you should do is take it out, plunge it in some warm water for about two seconds, maybe three seconds at the most, pull it out and immediately plunge it into uh, about 300 degree uh, oil to keep it from cracking. But I don't have any warm oil or anything like that. I just have my basic cold oil. Well, it's not. It's actual tempering oil. But a hardening oil, whatever, but it's parks 50, so it, it'll do the job. But I'm going to have to make up a can of water if I can find one. Alright, so I'm going to go stick this in the uh, in a forge right now, and you should usually wait till that dries, but uh, it'll take about a day to dry, so. I'm just going to pop it in the oven now. And I'm pretty sure my battery here is going to run out in a couple of seconds. So don't be surprised if that happens. So, I think it's mostly, it's not the batteries themselves, it's the damn camera. It's got so much metal dust in it. it kind of messes with things. And let's just rest that in there. The forge has been heating for about 10 minutes. So check my pyrometer to see what the actual temperature is. Twelve hundred and eighty-two degrees. 